Hello everyone, Doll here, and I'm back with another new makeup video, and this time it is mermaid themed. I love mermaids so much. I'm actually thinking about being a mermaid this year for Halloween. I even decorated my bathroom door with a bath. And there's another one behind me. There. You see it? It's so cute. They have like these adorable glittery bats on sale at all the Halloween stores and you can get them and oh, they're so cute. I just love bats. But today I'm going to show you how to transform yourself into a beautiful pastel goth mermaid. So the first thing that I did was I took, um, I, I actually found that it's, <clears throat> cannot talk today pardon me but I found that it's easier if you take the surreal makeup primer you can either take it plain and just dab it on your eye as you always have or if you really want your makeup to last for a long time let's say you're wearing this to a Halloween party that's gonna last until 4 in the morning since Halloween falls on a Saturday this year and you really don't want your makeup to run I took some of the primer and I mixed it in with any kind of base foundation you use and it actually lasted longer than it usually does than with just using the primer but even if you don't use your base foundation it still is going to look fabulous because real makeup's awesome like that so I took gorgeous which is the purple that's at the bottom of your surreal rainbow stack right here and I just started blending it little by little. I'm going to take my favorite blending brush, this one right here. So good to me. And I am trying to adjust the light because lighting at the moment is still underway. So get close so you can see what I'm doing. Just close my eye and grabbing your blending brush from the end of your uh, brush is the best advice I can give you. This way you have a lighter feel when you're blending and it's not so heavy because the heavier your hand is, the harder it is for you to blend out your colors. So I'm just going to close my eye. And uh, first I'm going to pat. And from patting I'm going to go to blending and I'm just going to go over my crease. And again, I'm just doing this lightly. Don't put too much thought into it, like I do, with everything else. <laughs> Getting closer so you can see. So I'm just blending this color as close as I can. And I think you guys can see that. There, that's better. I'm just blending this color out. Like grabbing it as close to the end as you can to your brush this way you have a lighter control over your blending if you do it up here it's gonna come out really heavy and it's gonna be harder for you to blend so just grab it all the way at the end of your brush and gently swoop back and forth on your crease And you can take some more of your mineral if you want. The good thing about these minerals, like I stated before, you really do not need a lot. A little does go a long way, especially if you're blending. And we're going to get a nice blended amount here in our crease. And I can blend for hours, probably, if you let me. <laughs> but we're just going to blend back and forth over our crease. It's good to get a good blending brush, like the kind of blending brush I have. It's um, a little bit, uh, I guess you could say, uh, puffied out towards the top. I'm not sure if puffied out is the correct terminology for this, but I'm, what I'm trying to get across is look for a good blending brush that's all the way around, very puffed out, not exactly going straight in an arrow because the ones that are just like a straight arrow tend to be a little more difficult especially for first time blenders so this gives you better control and it feels really light so just 
kind of go back and forth very gently and the littler um, amount you put on the brush the more you can actually do if you actually put way too much pressure while you're blending it's actually not going to come out looking so hot and I think that'll do it for now next color we're going to take is we're going to take a little darker purple also from our stack and we're going to be taking this bottom dark burgundy purple known as rapture and taking another little brush and right under where our crease was we're going to pat gently and then we're going to blend out as needed Remember, grab it all the way from the bottom end of your brush. This way your blending has more control and you have a lighter hand on it. You want to get that warm purple contrast of going from a very light fluorescent purple to a more of a darker tone. Again, pat and do it towards the corners of your eye. And then blend it out. It helps also for it, the corners to do blending in circular motion. I don't really advise doing circular motion on the crease but below the crease. This way you're not getting your mineral, the dark mineral you're using everywhere and you don't lose that type of dramatic um, contrast that you're going for. And a good tip is also get a clean dry brush and you, it'll help you blend out what is needed without getting the color from other brushes distributed everywhere. You can fan it out or you can just keep it in a certain shape. I tend to like to fan mines out, but you can make your a round shape. It's all up to you. Next, we're going in with an even darker tone. I accidentally got some mineral all over me. Most nice and pretty, like a mermaid covered in sparkly purple mineral. <laughs> and the next mineral we are going to take is Rockstar, which is a dark purple to a black glitter, but not glitter really because glitter hurts, uh, shimmer mineral. And we're going to take a different brush. We're going to pat it in, get a good amount, and go to the bottom of your eye here towards the corner as much as you can. You're going to pat at first in circular motions as I am doing and then a little bit on the lid but try and stay in this corner as much as possible. You want your darkest color in the corners of your eyes to give it that dramatic um, defined contrast.
blend it out a little bit. And take some more because I really like to make it dark towards the edges because I really love that contrast. Do not have it creep over your crease. Just try and blend it in that corner area as I am doing. And you can shape it. What I do in so it's better for me to shape. I wait till the very end to put the base uh, to the rest of the base of my foundation on. This way, I, if I get a little bit of mineral residue, I can just go and I can shape it exactly to how I want it. Next, I'm going to go in with our springtime shimmer. brand new shimmer that I love to play with. We're going to highlight it here as I'm doing. Get a good highlight. Let's see how that contrast goes purple to darker purple and then the big contrast of ta-da shimmer <laughs> making sure I do not step on the cord excuse me water mermaids get very thirsty <laughs> Next, what I did was that same brush that I used to apply my dark colors, I just went in through my eyes here. Almost as if I was using it as eyeliner. Then I went over it again but with my mermaid shimmer this time. So it's not so dark and it has that light shimmery contrast we're going for because this is a mermaid look. You want all the shimmers and sparkables, sparklies and sparkables. I don't think sparkables is a word, <laughs> but everything that sparkles and is beautiful because that's what we're going for. And we're just going over the rock star mineral that was left over on our brush with the mermaid shimmer. You don't have to add this much shimmer. I just really like shimmer and all things sparkly. It's up to you. Let me put some more shimmer on this side too. Because why not? And this part for our eyes is complete. Next step is completely optional. I did it because I really like to go over the top when it comes to these looks. So I took some body jewels, took a very small one first, and I put it right here below my eye. Then I took a second larger body jewel, put it next to it here. And then I took an even bigger one and put it here. Put 
touching up this side with some more shimmer because I feel like that side has a little bit more. Next, we're going to do eyebrows. Um, I decided to go for a purple color since we're working with a lot of purple and I thought it would be fun since this um, wig I'm wearing, my mermaid wig, has little highlights of light purple. So I'm going in with Gorgeous. And taking some of the Surreal Makeup Primer to brush out and shape my eyebrows. This way it'll even stick better. And this will also show you how you color your eyebrows using the Surreal Makeup Minerals. There we go. So I'll take a little bit of Gorgeous. And you're just going to fill in the natural line of your eyebrow like I am doing. Blend it out using your own fingers. And there it is. So now that that portion of your eyebrows is done, I'm trying to get my bangs. Ah, doesn't matter, we're mermaids. Um, <laughs> Now you're going to do your lips and I am going to show you also how you can take your Surreal Makeup Primer and make your own makeshift lip gloss. Ah, these bangs are not working with me today. Close enough. <laughs> so. I'm going to take some primer and just almost as if you're putting on lip gloss. And take the Rockstar Mineral, fill in your lips, and follow your lip line. Part of my dogs, they decided that they want to be part of the video too. <laughs>
And there you go. Also, now that that is done, we're going to come back to our lips for a little bit. We're just going to let it set. Take some of the dragon's egg glitter and to highlight it, put a little bit right here under my brow. Completely optional, but I really like going over the top. And since this look can be ideal for any situation, especially since Halloween coming up, this can be an ideal pastel goth makeup look for Halloween. So we're going to go all over the top with this. <laughs> and speaking of over the top, my lashes finally tacky. So I found these really pretty purple lashes. I think work great with this. And try when you put on falsies to get it as close to your lash line as you can. And if your eyes do not look very curved, you can use an eye curler, also completely optional. I'm going to make them a little darker just so they can be lifted up naturally with my mascara. My eyes kind of have a little natural curve to them, so again, an eye curler is completely optional. But if you want more volume, and you can even curl your eyes with falsies too, I've done it before. Go for it. Bottom lashes, you just rub your mascara brush through them, like I'm doing. Brush it through. Give you a little more lift to your lash. Try and get it as close as you can to your natural lash line. I think I need to set the glue on this again, pardon me. While the glue is set, I can do the originally last step that I was going to do, and I was going to take my mermaid shimmer again, and to give it a little bit of a lustrous shine. And then a little bit to the bottom uh, top here here let's check on our falsy friend and feels tacky Get it as close as you can to your natural lash line. And my favorite part is Real Makeup's Body Shimmer Elfin Beauty. Use this body shimmer powder. finish up the look and that is it that is it for my makeup look you can wear this pastel goth makeup style for halloween or you can just do it because you want to and you just feel like being a colorful glittery mermaid with a little bit of a dark side <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching and i'm wearing my brand new mermaid blouse that i really love just wanted to show Serial Makeup is having an awesome deal going on right now, including their lip glosses. If you 
pay $30 or over, you now get a lip gloss sent to you completely free. So I have, will be bringing you back more awesome Halloween themed tutorials and videos. So thank you everyone. I am now going to go swimming in a beautiful sparkly ocean of luminous and jellyfish. So good night.